I've been maintaining these Helibdella austinensis in the laboratory. I want to give a credit to the group who described this species as well as their feeding behavior. You notice that they are uh, animals that have parental care. They carry ventral clusters of juveniles around with them. In this case, they're being fed Chironomus larvae, and you can see on the upper left, there's a group of juveniles peeking out from under the parent leech, dragging one of these Chironomus larvae toward it. So they're actually going to be feeding on these uh, frozen uh, blood worms and reach out and grab hold of one of these worms and carry it along with them. You can see other juveniles from the same individual questing out, looking for food. And then this animal will finally settle on some food in the middle of this clump. I notice that they start undulating their body wall in a very regular way when they start feeding. And so that this peristalsis is, a, is an interesting rhythmic behavior. Since these animals don't swim, uh, I, I was paying attention to this rhythmic behavior and notice that they also, you can see a bolus of food running down the midline of the animal through the semi-transparent body wall. There's the bolus that I'm paying attention to, and now I'll take a slightly slower view and uh, I'll zoom in in a second so you can see this move a little bit better. We'll replay it. And there's the bolus. You can see that it is its movement is coordinated with the peristaltic movement of the animal's body wall. I've noticed this behavior before in the absence of feeding and thought of it as ventilation, um, but it, for all we know it could have evolved as a mechanism during feeding.